let's see about securing iPhones and iPods and iPads and Apple devices. So here are some things. You should lock your iPhone with a passcode lock feature. You should always use your iPhone on a secured or protected Wi-Fi network. Yeah, <laughs> do that in an airport, right? You should never use a compromised network to access web services. Problem is, you might not know what is compromised. You should only use trusted third-party apps. In other words, don't jailbreak unless it's just for educational purposes on a trash phone you don't care about. JavaScript add-ons should be disabled through the web browser. Don't use a client-side database to store sensitive data. Now, how are you going to do that realistically? I mean, both the iPhone and the Android use little tiny SQLite databases. And of course, you're going to store sensitive data there. I mean, what, are you going to put it up in the cloud? You could. That, that has all of its own issues. Nonetheless, though, in a perfect world, this is what you do. Never open attachments or links from unknown sources. Yes, that's a good one. Change the iPhone's default root password. That's assuming you've already jailbroken it. That, but of course, don't jailbreak or root your device, especially not in an enterprise network. You can use Find My Phone or something similar to wipe a stolen or lost device. And turn on jailbreak detection. That's what we do in an enterprise on a mobile device management uh, software. Um, guard against unauthorized access to your iTunes Apple ID or your Google accounts. Turn off iCloud services. Okay, and so here's the classic thing of security versus functionality. We use the iCloud services to back up regularly. If you turn that off, then we're not backing up. Adhere to all common security guidelines for mobile devices. Here is an example of iOS device tracking tools. So Find My Phone, iHound, Gadget Track iOS Security, iLocalis, and it helps you locate the phone. That's assuming, of course, that um, the phone ever turns on if you lose it. So that's what we can do to secure the iPhone.